Cindy here. We are going to paint this clover field and you can find that picture on Pixabay. This is a picture of my final work and I want to show you a few tips. First, soap in an old brush and I get that uh, brush coated up with soap and then I dip it into my drawing gum and then I go ahead and lay the drawing gum down to protect the flowers because I'm going to paint the background. So use soap on a brush and um, coat your brush up and then just dip it in there. And what'll happen is when I'm done doing this part of it, I'll simply dip my brush back in water, clean it off. And because it was dipped in soap, it cleans up really well and it does not ruin my brushes. Once I finish this off, I'll give this 15 minutes to dry, and then you're going to see me move into a wet on wet. And what I'm going to do is just wet the back of the paper, and I'm going to dab colors, browns and greens. Uh, what you saw in that reference photo, I just want to pick up some of the subtle colors. Once I laid out my colors, I put a tiny bit of salt. That's what I'm doing right there. And when that salt dries, uh, my paper's not sopping wet. It's somewhat dry and I'll put the salt on there and it creates some really nice crystal or texture effects. I'm using a rubber cement eraser and I'm removing all of that masking fluid now, exposing the white, and now I can go ahead and start working on my flowers. And what I'm gonna do is um, put water down first. I wet this flower head, I let it dry some. So that way, as I've touched my brush onto these flower heads, my purple is not running all over in there. That's because the paper is not sopping wet. But I like my watercolors to go down into my paper. So many times I will wet my paper, then I'll let it dry, and then I'll wet it again, and I'll let it mostly dry, and then I'll start to put my um, paints on top of this and I'll dab it. And I don't know if you slow this down, you probably will see me dabbing um, my flower heads. And I'm not necessarily taking my brush and rubbing them and stroking them forward. So I love working on pictures like this. And I'm going to let you paint for a second and follow along. Slow the video down if you want to as well when you're uh, watching these. Now we're going to let this dry, and while you are waiting, why don't you hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos. And now that we are back, we're going to add a little bit more of the brightness and detail into these flower heads. And I'm using a little bit more of a pink tone in my uh, flower heads to kind of brighten up the tips and um, so you can see those and um, I really really enjoyed this don't be afraid to add the water in there and let it run um, you remember you don't need to have every flower head painted perfectly art is like an interpretation it's not meant to be exact and when I am putting more uh, detail into a flower, that's because I want the viewer's eye to go there. I want the viewer to be drawn to a particular um, place in my drawing or in my painting. So I work with myself, I've been training myself to keep things soft and to not and to get into heavy detail. So in a few minutes I'm going to start working on these stems and I looked at the photo so I could look to see where is the light coming from and again always paint the light first. When I move into my stem work I'm going to paint the light areas first and then I'll add my shadows in. Thank you. 
once I've laid down like some of the basic shadows underneath of a flower right smack underneath there's this nice dark spot um, and then I added my light greens in there so that way you could kind of feel like the sun is shining through and um, you've got some three dimension uh, to the flower. I'm simply finishing up a little bit of details on my flower heads and I'll use a little bit of neutral at this point. Um, like right here, I'm using a little bit of pink on it and I just wanna brighten it up. I just want it to uh, be seen really clearly. So I'm always fussing over my paintings at the last uh, minute. And at this point, I decided to add some brighter pinks in there and I like the way it turned out. So don't be afraid to experiment. Um, if I didn't like something, I could take a squirt bottle, put it straight up there, squirt it and let that color run off and then retry it again. Um, it's always fun to try different things. Don't be afraid to experiment. Um, you can always paint on the back of a picture. Um, you know, uh, I'm thankful every time I sell a picture because I want to find more paper. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to see your work guys so I'm finishing up here it was so good to be with you and I would love to see your work again feel free to share it share with your comments I'd like to find out what you're painting right now um, are you focusing on anything for summer I made this um, video at a point where summer uh, has just arrived and I'm in the mood for sea turtles and flowers and um, so I'm trying to find out what other people are painting. Share with me and I will see you next time.